Jeff Grubb, GamesBeat, and we are today installing a SSD into a PlayStation 4 Pro. Uh, before you do this, you're going to want to back up everything that's on your PS4. Um, if you already have one, if you already have a hard drive, you can do that with a USB stick. Just make sure you plug that in and you have enough space. Uh, go to the backup and restore. Okay, on the Pro, you, first you want to do is uh, pop off this cover. And then once that pop, you could just use, use a screwdriver to pop that off. And then you take uh, a small electronic screwdriver to get this bolt out so that you can pull the, uh, the the drive tray out of the back of the PlayStation 4 Pro. Once you have that bolt out, you could just slide this right out. It should come, shouldn't require any like pulling or tugging or anything like that. It's real easy. Then you just need to remove each of the screws from uh, all four sides of this, or you know, all four screws from each side. Then you could put in the new drive and replace those screws. Once those screws are in there, make sure you have the, the, the contacts facing up uh, away from the drive metal. Uh, so you should be able to, they should be exposed uh, facing upward. Then you just slide this right back into the system. Uh, again, it should fit perfectly. It should just, there shouldn't be any issue. It should go right in there. Then replace the bolt. And then you can replace the cover. This just kind of slides back in. Um, you'll want to make sure you slide in the, uh, uh, the kind of flatter side first. And now it's good to go. Uh, you just need to get the USB firmware. Okay. Now we are going to get the firmware update for the PlayStation 4 Pro. To do that, you can follow the link. Uh, I'll try to put it in the description. But you can also just go to Google, PS4 Pro Firmware USB Download. Some combination of those words should get you there. And just click on this first one, PlayStation.com. Uh, support. Look for that. Make sure you see that. And if you see that, then click right here. And we'll see if that loads. Um, and then go to, don't go to download update. So this is for, you go to this site if you uh, don't have a connection to the internet on your PS4 for some reason, and you want to download it to the USB stick, and you want to update to the latest one from like a previous uh, recent software uh, version. But you don't want to do that. that. That won't be enough. You actually need to go down to here. Do you want to perform a fresh install of the full system software? If so, then click here. Once here, um, there's a lot of stuff uh, that kind of run you through what you need to do, what you need, to, uh, how, how you're going to get everything installed. Um, but we could start by just downloading the firmware. So if you have your, your, P your PS4 system, if you can connect it to the internet for this, uh, for this part, um, USB storage device, such as USB flash drive, um, and then, yeah, and then you get down here, you could download it right here by clicking right where it says download now. So here's my storage device. What you need to do is create a new folder, PS4, oh, not PS dollar sign. And then inside that folder, a new folder called update. And I would just make them all um, uppercase because that's what the Sony website says. So, um, you actually can't see me doing that, but I'm going to bring that in right now. Hang on. So you could see that. Okay. So here's my, here's my storage device. Then I created this PS4 folder and I created update. I just hit new folder right here. Update. And now PS4 update dot P U P save. And that's going to start installing. Now that you have your hard drive installed and you have the firmware on your USB storage device, uh, again, that can either be an external drive or a USB thumbstick, whatever, um, you're going to want to plug that into your PS4. But make sure first that your PS4 and your PS4 Pro are completely uh, turned off. To do that, check the light indicator on the side of the PS4. It will be orange if it is in sleep mode. If that's the case, hold down the PlayStation 4 power button for at least seven seconds. It's gonna beep, and then you should either see it go white or just turn off. Um, at this point, you can safely plug in your USB storage device. So plug that in. Uh, any of the USB drives or ports will work on the PS4. Uh, just make sure it's plugged in there. Once you have that good to go, hold, press and hold the PS4 power button again for at least seven seconds. You'll hear a beep again. The PS4 boot into safe mode, and you should get the option immediately to uh, reinstall system software. I believe it's called Initialize PS4. Um, at this point, just follow the on-screen prompts. Uh, you'll see something like this. It'll, it might tell you to enter a drive if it's not already there. 
Um, if it is there, it might still show you this. Just select it and you know hit, hit that you're ready to go. Uh, from here, it just takes a few minutes to install, and then after that, you should be good to go. Um, from that point, if you want to restore your PS4, you can do that real simply. Just you know, um, you know, so let's go to the menu, select the settings, go down to you know your options, backup and restore, and hit restore. Uh, if you have another PS4 that already has a bunch of stuff on there, you can also do the system transfer at this point uh, and get all your files from there that way, which is actually what I'm doing, and uh, I'm going to see how that works. Okay, now I have an SSD in my PS4. We're going to do some tests, see if uh, anything's actually faster with this new drive, and we'll check on that soon. So thanks for watching, guys. Jeff Grubb, GamesBeat, GamesBeat.com for more, and I'll see you in the next video.